Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald, and today I wanted to make an arrangement that really reflects the kind of autumn season. So I'm gonna use my old crock pot that got damaged. And I think this is a really nice container because it gives us a good depth for water. And um, it has that kind of earthy, earthenware, cauldron pot sort of feel. So we're gonna use some floral foam, which I've pre-soaked. And um, I'm just gonna cut this. And that just fits in perfectly. So the great thing with a container like this is we've got enough foam here to make an arrangement, but we've actually got space that once the arrangement's made, it's easy to add water um, and continue to look after our arrangement. So material wise, I've got a few little orange roses. We've got a couple of lovely little germinis, a little bit of solidago and carnation. I've got some nice dahlias, so I've got orange ones, and just as a contrast, I've got these lovely purple ones. I've got a little sunflower, and I found these in a flower shop. So being a florist, obviously we're very nosy at flower shops, and I was in one, and they had these, and I just had to buy them. They weren't expensive, but I just love the finish that's on them. It's like a velour, but anyway. What we're gonna do then is we've created our base and uh, the first thing is we're gonna add just a little bit of foliage. So just really to hide this edge. Um, and this is like a little bit of foraged foliage from just the hedgerow. I'm just cutting that and popping it in. So if you can get something that's got some berries on it, even better. So this does have a few berries, but they're not great, unfortunately. Slightly past the time, I think, for it. And we're gonna start with our sunflower. I'm gonna start with this because this is really quite a heavy material. And um, it's easier if you've got some big heavy pieces to put them in right at the start so straight away that's in i don't need to worry about it now we could use these leaves if we wanted they're not particularly good lasting so we might have to keep a little eye on them but if they've had a good cut and a good condition then we should be fine but obviously you could use a different uh, material like say ivy would be quite nice. So we're starting to build up our design. So our next kind of big things are probably these gerbera. So I'm going to pop these in. So again, I'm just putting them in and they go in quite easily. With gerbera, they can be a little bit tricky with the stems if they're quite soft so you want them to have had a good drink is really the the trick and then we've got the weight of that there we've got the weight in the middle i'm just going to come on to this side with that lovely big dahlia and uh, that takes that weight through And uh, I just love these dahlias. So this is the same dahlia, but for some reason, after it's had its main flower and been deadheaded, it's just thrown out a more simplified version, which I quite like. And even this one, this is the same again, but again, we've got a different variation on the flower. So a little bit of solid ego, and then we can pop in one or two. I just thought this was a good contrast. And we can even use that a little bit of foliage from it. And our little roses. So I don't want everything to sit totally flat, like a, a, a normal kind of posy. I want things to have a little bit of movement and variety within the way that they're sitting. So 
So rece uh, recessing some of the bigger flowers and just letting some of the buds and the smaller ones sit out uh, will make it look much more interesting. And we can keep this bud on. So we're creating a little bit more three dimension, just the way we're letting things sit. got the one carnation so we'll really just keep it kind of low just for colour and I do have a little bit of ivy as well so this is gonna just feel that kind of seasonal way as well and then I found this. So this is, uh, essentially, this is hops. So when you think about beer and how beer gets flavoured, this is the hop, is this flower, and they basically dry them off. And hops are really, really vigorous. They'll just take off and take over and go everywhere. But you can dry them uh, and have like a dried material, or we can do what we're doing here, bring it into an arrangement and use that tendril to create a bit of interest. Now, if you're thinking this is too heavy, it's quite okay to just remove the odd leaf. Um, and if they're sitting in the wrong direction, then that's fine as well. You know, you can just take them off. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. So really, we've got our base then, and then we just need to think, do we want to use our little pumpkins? Well, I think, why not? We'll just pop a little one in. Now, you could wire these or you could use a cold glue just to secure them. It depends where you're going to put your arrangement. I don't really want to damage them, so if this is just going to be in your own home, then you can just literally sit them in. But there we go. We've got a simple seasonal arrangement using some garden materials and some kind of commercial flowers as well. But really the thing about this is the variety and the colours. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, click here to subscribe and keep up to date with all our new designs.